The amazing scientific finds that are discovered every day make breakthroughs in all types of sciences, whether it be health, auto, technology, and many others. There is one critical element of all these discoveries that is not mentioned as much, and that is the funding behind the research projects. There is a person or corporation that gives out funding and controls the research in their manner. This can ultimately lead to many different discoveries or it can be very controlled and only produce a certain discovery. This is based on what the funder's ultimate goal is and the impact they are trying to make. Whether the impact be beneficial to society or detrimental is in the hands of the people who are controlling the research. The detrimental effects can range from biased or hidden results to the lack of public trust in science. Samir Chopra, a practicing medical genetics doctor in Boston, Massachusetts, proclaims in industry funding of clinical trials, benefits or bias, that almost 75% of clinical trials that are done are funded by the pharmaceutical companies and they have much on the line when it comes to the results they want and or need. The pharmaceutical companies give incentives to the researchers to produce results in favor of their company, whether or not they are misleading. Tropa explains that this creates a paradoxical relationship between corporate sponsors and research in which research institutions cannot operate without the contributions of scientists employed by pharmaceutical companies, yet scientific inquiry, integrity, innovation comes second to business interests. And it is not just the pharmaceutical companies that are taking control of the research projects. An example of another huge, impactful company taking over funding is Motorola and Henry Lai. Henry Lai was a bioengineering professor at the University of Washington and was making discoveries about cell phones and the radiation that emits off of them, causing DNA to be damaged or even broken. When Motorola, the leading producer of cell phones at the time, Heard of this, they quickly moved into action and tried to discredit Lai's findings because of the impact it could have had on their business. Lai's discovery of the cell phone radiation was not as impactful as the one he discovered of the politics behind funding scientific research. He explains that since there is very little government funding, the bulk of funding is controlled by private industries that are a part of our lives every day. These corporations mislead the public by making them think they are being helped by these corporations, but ultimately covering up something they have done wrong. Coca-Cola donated $1 million to the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry so that they portrayed themselves as a concerned corporation about children's dental health. However, Coca-Cola produces their drink with a significant amount of sugar and is now saving their corporate identity by donating the million dollars and deceiving the public. The solution that presents itself in the most useful and practical way is the regulation of scientific funding by the government. There needs to be a mediator between the corporations and the organizations to ensure to the public that results are clear, unbiased, and truthful about products or services. One solution is the idea of block funding versus competitive funding. Block funding is the idea that everyone gets the same amount of funding or equal in comparable terms. Competitive funding is the idea that as groups get better results and more accurate data, they will be rewarded with more funding. Governments across the world go back and forth whether to use block or competitive, but it seems as if there could be a solution of using both, but is dependent on the government at hand. Scientists are making amazing discoveries and it is time they are released from the chokehold of corporations and free to present data, findings, and results so that they can be trusted by the public. If the formidable challenges in the health, auto, and technology arenas are to be addressed, Science must be a part of determining the direction and conditions of funding, so that it is led by the way of breakthroughs and not pure economics. <laughs>